In a startling turn of events, MK veteran Mervyn Dirks has sparked outrage with his recent declaration regarding the health of former South African President Jacob Zuma. Dirks, a prominent figure within the Mkanto Isiswi, MK, made a bold assertion, stating, all those who are wishing Zuma to die will die before Zuma. The statement, delivered during a public address in Johannesburg, has ignited a firestorm of debate across the nation. Dirks, known for his staunch loyalty to the former president, did not mince words, condemning those who harbor ill wishes towards Zuma. While Dirks did not provide further elaboration on his assertion, the timing of his statement coincides with growing concerns over Zuma's health. The former president has been battling various health issues, including a recent hospitalization for an undisclosed illness. Dirks' remarks have drawn sharp criticism from political opponents and civil society groups, who accuse him of sowing division and promoting a culture of intolerance. Some have called for disciplinary action against Dirks, citing the need for responsible rhetoric in a fragile political climate. Conversely, supporters of Zuma have rallied behind Dirks, viewing his statement as a passionate defense of their leader. Many within the MK veterans community have voiced solidarity with Dirks, applauding his unwavering loyalty to Zuma. The controversy underscores the deep-seated divisions within South African society particularly regarding the legacy of Zuma's presidency. As the nation grapples with economic challenges and political uncertainty, Dirk's remarks serve as a stark reminder of the complex dynamics at play. In response to the furor surrounding his statement, Dirk's has remained defiant, refusing to retract his words. He maintains that his allegiance lies with Zuma and that he will continue to speak out against those who wish harm upon him. As the debate rages on, one thing remains certain.